ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And yes, actually, the name of this show, actually, since we are growing, we are hoping to give it the golden I months. Love that. You know, golden my gold eh? treasure, right? Treasure. Every time. Golden mines, I love that. Yeah, and we should actually opt to be golden mines everywhere we go. Yeah, yeah. We should reveal the skills that we have in abundance. What we have, what yeah. we are coming. Yeah, that's, that's a good name. True. That's a good name. Now, now before, before we went on the break, yeah. we pointed on how politics has messed up a lot of things. Yes. Case study of Libya. Look at Libya at the times of Gaddafi. Yes. And look at Libya right now. Total disaster. You cannot even mention whatever I is happening. Say that yeah. It was doing well at the Gaddafi. But that is open to interpretation. Good. But the country was doing good. But the, it was amazing. Yes, I mean, yes. where where are you getting free health care, free housing? You're getting some moolah to live, man. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, look at Congo. Yes. The resources right there. Yes, yes. And look at the blood that has followed the resources yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, now, let us look at the better part of this. Yes. The musician Akon yeah. just invented this billion, billionaire cryptocurrency because it is the Acoin. It's something for Africa. Yeah. The same same musician is building um, a mega tech city back in his home. Yes. He is leading by example. Yeah. He has been a good example, actually. Yes, indeed, yeah. he has been. Yeah. And Does he still sing? Eko now is much of an entrepreneur. <laughs> He's much of an entrepreneur and <laughs> production. Uh, I have noticed. I oh, yes. see like much of his music recently. Yeah, okay. the, the, yeah. The, guy, the guy is really working out to change, actually, to change to change the world, because actually from where he comes from, there is an yeah. old village that is solar-powered, courtesy of the Acoin, man. But actually, he has been a good ambassador for Africa. Very you know true. those people that we should recognize mm -hmm. and say these people have actually taken the name of Africa outside there to a whole and new we, level. We are told that we are, we are the black continent, and yes, we are. Oh, we are. We are not yet developed as much as we'd like. Very true. So when such people are pulling the resources from the so-called developed countries yes. and bringing them back home, yes. that's what we should appreciate when somebody We should appreciate that way. Yeah. And Nikon, big up, right? Outstanding innovation. Wonderful. <laughs> now. Uh, back to innovations and stuff. We have, we have, we have seen Kenyans come up with a lot of amazing innovations. Mm. Just the other day, Alliance Boys, it, it, was it Alliance Girls or mm. Alliance Boys? Yeah. When it comes to this thing, the AI development. Oh yes, yes we yes, saw yes, them yes. do yeah. very well, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we about Ushahidi. Ushahidi is one of those platforms that has, you know, they came up with a problem solving mechanism. Mm -hmm. They saw it was a problem. In Kenya, we are always having crimes. And we they should... are mostly perpetuated by the people who are in power. Leave yes. alone yes. the crimes that are done by some thugs. Yeah, yeah. The biggest crimes and the, the crimes that go unpunished yes. are actually the crimes committed by the government officials yes. and people, also people who are in power. Maybe the elites. Just, Let's just say the elites. I call them the elite. uh -huh. So when Shahid came up with a platform which is you can actually report a crime yeah. and you're not liable for being Tunaitanga Kufikiwa Kufikiwa, no. Yeah, because it is anonymous. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those platforms that have actually changed the dynamism of reporting crimes and abuse of human rights. And abuse. Across Wonderful. Abuse. Speaking about that, yeah. there are a few names that we need to big up on this Golden Mind show. Yes. And by the way, you're there, you are an innovator. Please partner with us and we can actually get to air and the we content. tell their stories. And we tell their stories. Ezekiel, maybe you could give us a couple of local inventors yeah. or inventions that we have seen so far in the country. Actually, one of the, the, the interesting ones that I have come across is the, the smart gloves. The smart gloves. You know, this, this gentleman... Yeah. Um, From the... He, mm -hmm. he had a sister. Mm -hmm. And the sister was... Uh, a bit impaired so yes, he was yes. and so he was trying to come up with something that he can be able to communicate with the system a speech uh -huh. a speech, a so speech the, the, mechanism the girl uh -huh. yeah is actually attached i'm not very well adapted to it yeah but actually i think it reflects it has a reflection with the nerves yeah and so it is able to communicate yeah the commands that are given uh -huh. it's one of those things and actually 
I encourage everybody to go say they on YouTube and, and, and search for the Smart Girls by yeah. Kenyan. Yes. He has actually performed like greatly. That's it. He actually won an award and being recognized, uh, recognized the, worldwide. Yeah. Because of it, uh, problem. You know, when you talk about innovation, you yeah. talk about problem, problem solvers. Solving. By the yes. way, yes. So this gentleman has done really good. We so, actually we should have him on the show. As you well. know, you know, right now he's yeah. overseas. He's under the royal, ah, the, the the royal guards of the queen, uh, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be, because that's other guy who can come up with something. You know, the guy is twenty five. Yeah. I'm lucky we actually interacted with him you when I, when I was here in Kabeta before the guy left. Yeah. We were good buddies with Alela. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, wow. he comes from the Alela family. Such a big family, right there. So you know him personally. Yeah. His, his family too. You know Richard Alela, the, this photographer has won a couple of uh, awards. Yeah. Right. They are from the same family, such Sam, a big I boys right there. I see good people, man. Well, I try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. the next one was the solar powered one. The solar These, power. Yeah. yeah. So these, uh, they are actually youths as well. Mm -hmm. And there was a competition of where people were presenting ideas on, yes. on energy. Yes. And these uh, uh, these uh, young people, mm -hmm. it was actually a gentleman and a lady, and a lady. Who, are, who, are, who are the innovators of the solar panel. Uh -huh. They actually beat Elon Musk. Hey. He was actually one of the competitors in but, that show. In that, hey. Yes. Wow. And uh -huh. the Kenyans, they came out on top. On top, by yes. the way. I, because I of... Like, uh, yeah. Because the, the, the solar they came up with is able, is very cheap one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he has a lot of capacity to supply them, like hot water and okay. all things that concerns electricity. It's now. just multi-purpose. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, not, not forgetting, by the way, uh, we, we you remember the other guy who made a chopper? Was it in oh, yeah. The question is, was he supported in well enough? Now that's the question. We have we'll got, find out. We, we will actually get to find this out. Mm -hmm. Because... We have had very smart innovations. Look, look, look at uh, Dr. Is it? Uh, I don't really remember his name, but yes. this guy the other day who found the cure for hepatitis B. Is it oh. Dr. Njoroge or something? I have. That's what educated me as well. Yes. He did what? There's this doctor, yeah. and we are talking of a couple of years back. Yeah. He's the one who developed the, uh, the, the cure to hepatitis B from Kenyatta Hospital, but you know. This is something very rigid that is outside there. Way legit, man. This is a story that should be told. Way legit. It was told, but the the the, the big dons. Yeah. They took the dude, and he's been in. He's been overseas for a while. That's a big one. A Kenyan big. innovating. Yes. Damn right. Come coming to the bones and stuff. Those the, are smart stories that need to be told. Yeah. And and you see that. So you see when we were talking about the innovations part, and I was telling you that yes. there is a lot in our country that is yet to be known. Yes. Our people are innovating. Yeah. They are building stuff. Yes. But we do not know about. We don't them. know about them because we are not. Uh, we have not prioritized. True. Innovations and True. stories of uh, people who are doing great things. True. We we really don't give them a platform. We do. You definitely have to know the journalist to the yes. journalist, and you know. But I think it's time we started telling these stories. It's about time. Like this, this story that should have been told. How yeah. do I miss that? And they are marked you on know, with you, you, You've missed that. I have oh my. completely off the mark. In a off few minutes, mark. I will definitely yeah. get to give you that. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. when the time the time I see it's getting to hit uh, rock bottom, yes. but I, this is beautiful. Yeah. We have put in, we've put a point out there to the youth, yeah. or actually Ezekiel, since you're the, you're a youth leader, yeah. and there are people who look up to you, by the way. Uh, maybe in the next two minutes, yes. give us give us a closing remark as to this show. Um, first, thank you very much, Victor, for thank having you. me. Thank you. And I, I wish for this show to become something that the youths can be able to tell their stories. We also hope and we are not much. and we are not remitting to the youths. We are remitting this show to innovators, yeah. bright minds, and that yeah. incorporates every Kenya outside there yeah. who has a story that needs to be told, mm -hmm. that has made a difference in problem solving, yes. and those people are actually making a difference in our lives. Please, yeah. this is the show for you. This, this is just the show. a starting point, mm -hmm. but as you have said, when I set my eyes on something, uh -huh. we actually make it grow. We go way up. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful man. Ezekiel, yeah. actually, thank you very much for helping this to start. And we ask the listeners to have our backs, by the way. Cindy, I'm actually going to put the rings on my LinkedIn page as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, Twitter. yeah, and also we are going to put it on YouTube as well. Yes, yes. So let us know your feedback. Mm -hmm. we, we are learning and we are going to improve it. One yes. thing I have learned in, in, in my career and also yeah. is that always be patient. 
Be patient. And take feedback. Yeah. And that is what exactly we are doing. Wonderful. This is a citizen show. It's for from you. From the root up. From the root up, eh? Yeah. It is for you yeah. by us. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Victor Monene. More is coming. Please stay tuned. Have a blessed evening.